Hey, hi! Uh, you must be my cellmate. Yeah, we were banished down here forever too. What'd you do? What are you in for? Hey there folks, Paulie Jr. here and welcome to Minecraft 404 Challenge Redux for 2020. So if you don't remember what the 404 challenge was, I'll give you a very brief description and then we're going to jump in and get started with the action and I'll explain more once we get started. So essentially 404 was a seed back in the old days, 2012 I believe, or maybe even 2011, um, when someone discovered a 404 seed, created a map where if you broke gravel by a body of water, uh, the gravel just fell into a massive ravine and you'd be dropped down into the lowest levels of Minecraft. So a challenge was born from that particular seed called the 404 challenge where you had to collect materials by day, the first day in Minecraft while the sun was up, and then you had to jump down into the hole and survive underground for the remainder of the series. So that was basically how it worked. Um, there were obviously some rules and regulations and also some end goals and victory conditions that I don't recall off the top of my head. But we're going to get started and then we'll uh, we'll discover all that or come up with a plan later. I mean, obviously the ultimate goal is to survive, right? I mean, if you, if you die, it's over because we do play on uh, hardcore mode right here. Game mode hardcore. When you die, you die and the world is deleted. And that is the end of that. So we're going to call this the 404 uh, challenge. Got to type right. Challenge. 2020 and this seed is also using a 404 in it but i had to add some i've been testing 404 seeds to try to find a place a map that has a big hole right next to the spawn that we could jump into immediately and this one seems to work out pretty well in fact it's got a new feature on here that's amazing it's really really cool and i'll show you so this is the seed 404 challenge 2020 cheats are off generated structures on world type default and that is all that. Boom. And away we go with the 404 Challenge 2020. Let's roll. See you inside. I'm so nervous. Feels like the Hunger Games. <laughs> May the odds be ever in your favor. Beat it. Actually, you know what? I need your wool. Oh, it's going to take too long. I'll be right back. So yeah, here we are in the 404 Challenge seed. It's actually really, really cool. we got a, a pillager tower right there and beneath that tower is a cave that leads down to a massive ravine and uh, a mine shaft so i think it's perfect we just have to navigate down underneath when uh, when the sun goes down so the first thing you do in a 404 challenge is gather the materials you need to survive underground once we get down there we stay down there there's no coming back to the surface we are banished forever and ever to to, to wander the dark, scary underworld of Minecraft. Well, not the underworld. I guess that's another, but the cave systems, etc. Um, so, some of the things we want, obviously, will be some sand so we can grow uh, sugar cane and also some cactus. Cactus is good for, um, for well, not, not only making the green die, but for perimeter defenses to keep the bad things out. We'll go get those cactus in a minute. I want to go over here first. And get um, and get trees because trees do not grow underground, so that's also a critical key ingredient to bring down with you. Saplings, of course, so we can grow more trees when we're down there. And we don't have much time to do this. We only have the what is it like ten minutes of daylight? I forget how how long day is in Minecraft, but that's it. Once the sun goes down, we need to head underground and live there forever and ever. So we want to make sure we are prepared so we can survive as long as possible. And we'll come up with some uh, some goals, end game goals and victory conditions that we can meet. So the series will end. Hopefully it doesn't end on our death. But since it is hardcore, if we die, that is it. Game over, man. Game over. All right. So we got some wood. That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and make a let's make a bench right off the bat here. Quick and easy, easy peasy, and we want to make an axe. We can start chopping down trees faster, and we might as well make the pickaxe too. We gotta to get some stone, and obviously we're gonna want, um, you know what? Let's make a sword too while we're here. 
I know this isn't the typical thing to do in Minecraft, but it's important because we don't have a lot of time and we need to be efficient with our time. What limited time we have on the surface world before we get banished. Uh, all right, let's chop a chopper. And we're going to want to get some saplings. Hopefully we're getting some. I haven't noticed yet, but let's see. Oh, there's one. Thank you. Yeah, th this is great. These are oak saplings too, which means we'll, we'll get apples occasionally. And we can eat the apples down underground. And we'll have our fruit so we don't get scurvy. Uh, wait a minute. I think we need vitamin C. Are there oranges around here? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to grab as much wood as possible, but I don't want to spend too much time here. Because we got to go, we still have to track down some animals and get some meat and cook it up. And have that ready for our trip underground. Which is going to be dangerous. Even the trip underground is going to be crazy. We're going to be taking fire from those pillagers because we got to go down into their dungeon. Um, and they'll be shooting us, at us the whole time. Alright, we got two saplings and one wheat seed. We're going to need more, 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 more. So let's, uh, let's punch some grass and hopefully we get some seeds. We don't have to do that up here. We can do that on the way to go hunt down some animals. Three oak saplings. I'd like a couple more if possible, but they're just not coming fast enough and we can't sit here and wait. Let's get one more tree. Well, it's not really going to help much, but it will give time for these other leaves to decay. But yeah, time is of the essence. we got to make sure we have everything we need before we jump down into the pit of doom for survival. All right, one extra sapling. Four saplings should be plenty. Okay, let's boogie. What do we got down here? We got some animals to kill. I see some sheep. Um, how about pigs and cows and stuff? Oh, here, look at this. There's a uh, mine shaft right here. I didn't notice this before. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. Don't do that. Not a good thing to happen here on hardcore mode. Takes a lot out of you. So on hardcore mode, the um, as far as I know, the mobs will do more damage to us, right? Isn't that part of the deal? I mean, I know, obviously, if you die, that's it. The world gets deleted, and, and that's pretty significant. <laughs> uh, so we don't want to die. I'm going to grab a couple Oxide Daisies to make our um, banner, right? Our uh, Pink Sheep Clan banner. Now, I hate to kill horses, especially little foals. Needs his mommy, his daddy, so I'm not going to kill the horses. Hopefully, we can find some cows and get some leather. Um, so here's something that's going to be a little different in this uh, 404 challenge is that I'm going to make torches. Now, in the old 404 challenge, you weren't allowed to make regular torches. You were only supposed to use redstone torches because they don't provide enough light to stop mob spawning. Um, but I think that's going to be too hard for us, at least, at least getting down underground. Because that's going to be, like I said, that's going to be a major adventure in and of itself to get past these uh the pillagers and then we have to walk our way down because there's no easy peasy way like in the old 404 challenge where you literally just uh flow down in a in a waterfall so we're gonna have to light our way because i can't i don't think i'm gonna be able to find it it takes a little bit of sniffing around and i'll show you that once we get started so i think it's okay to use normal torches at least until we get underground and then maybe we'll switch over um, in full. So, let's get some torches ready. There we go. We have 20 torches. That might be enough to get us down. Uh, we need, now we need stone. We're gonna need some stone. We gotta cook up some of this meat before we head down. Of course, I'm gonna need a little bit more meat, too. But let's, uh, shucks. Alright, let's, let's do this fast. Everything has to be done so fast. Fast, fast, fast. Alright, get some sticks. And we can make... A, let's make a pickaxe and we're gonna make a sword so we can at least defend ourselves on the way down a proper sword and oh drat we need more stone <laughs> right gonna make a uh, gonna make a furnace and we're gonna cook up the meats that we get we can eat that on the way down and then once we get underground we can start growing wheat we have our seeds um, obviously gonna need a few more but we'll get as many as we can oh, we have 10 10 is pretty good all right, let's, uh, yeah, just take that quickly, quickly, quickly. This time goes by so fast. You feel like you have all the time in the world, but you really don't. <laughs> now, I'd like to take chicken eggs. If there were some eggs around here, it'd be great to have uh, a pair of chickens so we can get eggs and have an endless supply, but they're just not laying eggs. They take too long. Lay some eggs, dang it, or I'll kill you. I mean, I'm going to kill you anyway, but 
At least uh, you can you can contribute to the cause. All right, I gotta find cows. Let's go find some cows. Eh, it's a piggy wiggy over there. Oh man! All right, let's go to the desert. We're gonna go grab some of the um, some of this right here. Oh, there's a bat. There's a hole over here somewhere. Yeah, we want to get some cactus and some sand. I got a little bit of sand already, but the cactus is good to... Oh, gosh, there's pillagers over there. Don't let them see us. They're going to throw us in the dungeon too soon. <laughs> yeah, we want these to make, like, perimeter defenses around underground. They're pretty, pretty good to have. Um, and we can make green stuff, right? We can make stuff green. All right, I see cows. Let's go get them. Ow, that was not smart. You got to be smart. You make mistakes like that, it's gonna cost you in the long run. It's gonna cost you. Here we go. Here we go. We got some beef. Where's the beef? Give it to me. I need it going into a hole. I'm spending a life underground. <laughs> in eternity. Life sentence underground. And I need all your foods. Um, how about a... Oh, well, we don't need a... We don't need a ink sack, do we? And um, we'll get those guys underground anyway. Squiddies will appear in uh, underground in water. All right. Um, I should be punching the seeds here. Seeds are better. Is that it for the cows? Holy smokes. All right, we got to make some food. Quick, 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 quick. We have one stack of raw beef. That's about it. Dang it. It's not much. So, I think I might have to kill the horses or find some more cows here real quick. The sun is already going down. See how fast that goes? Oh, um, I don't have any wool either. Ooh. Wait, I saw some sheep over here. All right, let's, uh, let's get going. I'm going to leave this right here, cook for a second. And I'm going to go down here and find those sheeps. I know I saw them over here somewhere. The sun is already dropping. This is crazy. Get them chickens. No eggs, huh? Well, I'll take the meat anyway. Of course, we can't eat it raw. That was not. That will not be very healthy. All right, all right, all right. A few more over here. Oh, watch out, bunny! I killed a bunny, but there's no point. Take up a whole slot in my inventory. All right, come here. Whoa, little lag. And then another one here, and the sun is going down. Uh, that's too wool. I mean, we're not going to have a source of wool down there, which is going to be a bummer. I mean, maybe, actually, what we can do... Wow, no, no, too soon. They want me to go. Here they come. <laughs> They're like, get underground, bum. The sun's almost down. Not quite. Not quite. I can still see it. It's still up. All right, let's go collect our food over here. That was cooking. And then we're going to head underground. We do have to heal up 100% before we attempt to get down there. Where is my food? Uh, food! Was I cooking it? Oh, here it is. Okay. I'm gonna grab this furnace, too. Alright, so we have food. Very, very good. We've been... Wow! Whoa, 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 buddy! Alright, we're going! We're going! Ha! Hoo-hoo-hoo! Okay! <laughs> Man, where did he come from? That guy came out of nowhere super fast. Just die, pig! I gotta go! Wow! Jump! Yes, we're taking fire! Man, this guy's fast. Woo! Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, buddy. Sheesh, this guy's fast. I want to get the food in here. All right, run it out. Eat up. And let's get fully healed. And then we're going to make a run for that tower and head underground. I'll show you exactly uh, where that hole is. And then we got to figure out how to get down. we got 20 torches. That should be enough. All right, let me just hide from this guy. One second. Oh no, skeleton! This is gonna be crazy. All right, here's a hole, but that's not the hole we're looking for. Where's the hole we're looking for? Sorry, I'm going. I'm going. Is that the hole? Oh yeah, that's the hole. Oh, that hurt. Ow! 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 All right, let's go. They're gonna follow us down here, so we gotta block them off. Oh gosh, I forget where to go. Uh, yeah, down here. Oh gosh. There's a creeper right here. All right, we gotta block these guys off. <laughs> no, not with that. Not with that. Okay. All right, we get uh, a moment of reprieve. Now let's just block that off. Whew. Now let's kill this creeper. Kill this creeper. Get over. No! Whew. 
All right. So I hope this is the way down, guys. I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it is, but I well, I hope so. All right. Now for the uh, now for the, the the race down underground. Um, I am gonna use torches to get down there, like I said, because I don't remember exactly how to get down here. But we're not gonna stop for anything. We have to get down as fast as possible. Although there's some iron right here. Uh, we should ignore it. We should ignore it for now and just get down as soon as, as possible because that is part of the challenge. Um, hopefully we can do it without having to make any more torches or anything. I know it's down here somewhere. It's a bit twisty and turny. And down to six torches. There's a lot of iron here and everything, but we're going to be able to stop once we get down to the lower levels. What is that? It says water. Okay. Yeah, I have cylinders, shaders in right now and it looks amazing um, hopefully hopefully it looks good for you guys too I really really like it all right yeah just water okay we're gonna pass by all this stuff is this the right way Eh, I think so um, maybe not <laughs> this doesn't look familiar <laughs> like I said I explored this cave one time before and this doesn't seem familiar to me, but hopefully it, lead, it is leading down. So that's... Oh, it's a dead end. Drat. Oh, here's lava right here. Yeah, this is not the right way. Okay, let me work my way back up. Try to find the uh, the proper path. See, in the old 404 challenge, the, the gravel at the surface opened up uh, a hole directly down to the very lowest levels. And uh, water, the water would literally flow... And just carry you all the way down. It was perfect. But unfortunately, I do not have that map available. It just doesn't work anymore. All right, this looks like the, the right way. I think we're going to have to make a few more torches to find our way down. But the the idea here is um, urgency. And just, oh, here it is. Yeah, this hole. Jump! <laughs> okay. <laughs> And it's supposed to be quite an adventure just getting down here. Uh-oh. Why are we going up? Up is bad. No, I want to go down. Hi. Um, can you show me the way to the ravine, please? Big ravine. We're looking for it. All right. We're going to pass by all this stuff. I'm going to reuse some of these torches. Like I said, once we get down to the real low levels, that was dumb. Um, we're going to switch to redstone torches. That might actually be super, super hard and maybe... That might be too hard for us. I don't know. Uh, but we'll see. Because, again, it is hardcore mode. This is a new mode. It was never around back in the old days. Lava! Yes. Okay, this is familiar. I remember the lava. Um, I'm going to go over the lava. Can we go over the lava? We have a little bit of stone here. And we're going to go right over this lava. This is frightening. Ah! That could be the end of everything. I don't think we go down that way. Let me just check the level. We're at level 21. We still have a, a bit of a ways to go. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. Starting to look familiar. We got the water here. And... What? That? Yeah. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> and then this challenge begins. There it is. Yes, the challenge can now begin. Yay. So this is the ravine. Check it out. We have a mine shaft right there. And we are on level... What level are we at? 22. But we want to go even lower. we get, we got to get down to the bottom. Excuse me. All the way down to the bottom. The lowest, lowest level. And then we can start to survive. And uh, build up a base and dig in. But we got to get down there. Relatively safely if possible. Again, the old map would bring you all the way down. Without any trouble. I uh, just heard him. Uh, Enderman. And this is it. The last torch. You got us down here. Perfect. I'm going to drop down. And this redstone there so we can start working on redstone torches. Don't look at that guy. All right. Down we go. Wee! Ow! I missed the water. <laughs> How did I miss that water? <laughs> One teeny weeny bit of water and I missed it. All right. Let's, uh, let's find a little place. Hunker down. Somewhere relatively safe. Uh, it's pretty much nowhere. <laughs> and we need to get some redstone. Um, but we need iron first, right? Can we get redstone with stone? I don't think so. 
So let's get some iron going. And we can start making some torches. And then living down here. Exiled from the surface world. Oh no! That's not what I wanted. Nope. Well, actually, that's not bad because that will give us some lighting. But there's plenty of lighting over here. Alright. Uh, three iron. Perfect. Um, furnace. That's what I'm looking for. A furnace. We already got a furnace made up. So we'll just go ahead and do this. It's like a waste, but we can burn. We can burn our wooden stuff now that we don't need it anymore. And we can make a... We'll just make a stone axe. So we don't need the wooden one anymore. And we're going to use our initial iron... No, we're being spied upon. Not a chicken, but an enderman. <laughs> He's going to go tell everybody that we're here. I'm surprised there's no there's no monsters down here. This is pretty good so far. It wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was going to be to get down here. Uh, let's burn that axe. All right, one more. One more iron. And then we can make some torches. Start getting settled. Seems relatively safe. We can't be attacked from anything over there. And if a creeper comes, we can run. Well, no, we can't. I might have to rectify that but let's get that iron pickaxe all right yes now we're talking cooking with gas baby let's get that red stone so i'm thinking maybe we can try to get achievements as a uh, victory condition i'm just gonna have to look at the achievements i don't remember them all off the top of my head so we're gonna have to um oh what that noise this is a weird noise um, we're gonna have to take a look at them. Alright, I gotta chuck, gotta chuck this away into the lava. I'm not using those anymore. And we're gonna need, oh, we gotta make some, we gotta get some trees growing. Yeah, yeah, this is where things start to get crazy, right? Let's put this stuff in here that we don't need to carry around with us at the moment. We don't want to lose it. Of course, if we fall into lava, it's game over anyway. Um, but I'm gonna put this stuff in here for now. So we don't have to carry it around. We'll get to it all later. But we do want to get some wheat seeds growing and trees. And we're, gonna need a lot, we're gonna need a lot of space for trees, obviously. So we're gonna have to find a big open chamber, maybe somewhere down in the ravine. Um, we'll go take a look at that. Don't really need the andesite. Or the wall. Uh, we'll put that wood in there. All right, let's go. Let's go collect some more iron. That is like the very first thing to do, is to get some uh, get some iron going, and we can start making our tools, proper iron tools, proper iron weapons, and that sort of thing. Wow. Okay, it's just it's just a zombie. Hi. Uh, you must be my cellmate. Yeah, we were banished down here forever too. What did you do? What are you in for? <laughs> oh boy, it's gonna be so fun. I'm really excited about this. And I, the reason I'm doing this particular challenge, essentially, is because um, I'm waiting. Waiting for one point, I guess we're going right to 116 now. Um, for 1.16 so I can start up another Let's Play. My Paul Plays Minecraft Let's Play and also a new Mine, uh, Man vs. Minecraft series, which I want to do um, pretty soon too. But I want to do it with the newest version of Minecraft. So, this is kind of a, just sort of a, uh, a wasting time until that happens. And I think it will be fun. We'll see how long we can last. Um, why don't we get some of this food cooking here. We got some raw pork chops. And we'll throw that in there. Um, Alright, how much iron did we get right there? Five. Well, let me go get a whole set. A whole eight. That guy's still sitting over there just waiting. Waiting for us to come and say hello. Guess we can do that, buddy. I just don't want to get pushed into this lava. And, wow! Oh! Shovel! Don't lose that shovel! I could use it! Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it! It doesn't mean he's gonna drop it, but... <laughs> come on! Come on over! Yeah, right here. Just don't hit me with it. Oh, no! Sorry! Oh! Sorry, pal. Yeah, that's not what I want. Alright, let's get over there quick. Make a little bridge. Our own little bridge right here. Hopefully nobody knocks us off our little bridge, because then it will be game over, man. Whew. Okay. There's all the iron. Wow! Skeleton! 
We need we need a shield. That is the first thing I need, and I need it like ASAP. Because uh, we don't want to get knocked down into the lava or get shot to smithereens. Get in there. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, they do a lot of damage in hardcore mode. It's just a couple of shots, and you is a goner. All right, we have uh, eight. Eight um, iron for right now. That's a good start. Let's get over here. Oh, man. So scary. Grab me pork chops. And whoops. No, no, no. Wrong thing. That. All right. We're going to get a shield going, and then we'll probably call it quits for the day. And I'm going to make a relatively safe space. Get out of my safe space, bat. Freaking me out. Um, th that's as much light as we have with these redstone torches. Just not very much. <laughs> It's not very much at all, but, uh, well, it's better than nothing. And we do have the lava. Lava obviously provides a ton of light, and that is nice. All right, there we go. Our shield! Yay! Put it in. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. I love shields. I feel so much more better right now. So much more better with a shield, because you can block so much damage with it survive a uh, creeper explosion if you get it up quick enough and block arrows and all that fun stuff all right so let's uh yeah let's call it quits right here hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the 404 challenge 2020 redux um and i will see you here next time hope you enjoyed and leave a like on the video uh, if you want to see more and i'll see you guys next time have a good day bye bye Oop, enderman's still up there scouting maybe he's the uh he must be the warden hey warden can i get some food down here some water yeah probably not all right we'll see you all next time have a good day bye bye